Welcome back to JNY Cards, where we're going to be enjoying this amazing hobby together. Today is episode 231, and we're going to be opening up a 2022 Tops Series 1 hanger box. This is my third hanger box that I've opened up for the channel, and I'm loving it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited for baseball. I am totally loving all of these young players getting called up to the show. You know, people are not trying to manipulate service times like they, they've done in the past. And so I'm loving it. Like baseball is so exciting right now. Today, um, at the recording of this video, today is the 6th. So tomorrow is opening day. And I'm super excited for that and if you're new to the channel you should consider subscribing yeah because once I hit 150 subs I'm going to be giving away this blaster box 2021 Chronicles draft picks basketball and the once I hit 175 subs I'm going to be giving away this hanger box of 2020 21 Chronicles basketball all right you should subscribe because that's all you got to do to enter to win these giveaways. It's just be a subscriber. You don't... <clears throat> Sorry about that. I had to clear my throat there. Um, but yeah, you just have to be a public subscriber. And you will automatically be entered for these two giveaways. All right? I love giving my subscribers things. I send this product. I send them a whole bunch of cards as well. And all you got to do is be a public subscriber. Um, to be a public subscriber, you just have to change... Um, a setting within your YouTube profile, and then you'll be all set. So let's get back to this hanger box of 2022 Tops Series 1 Baseball here. So with these, you get 67 cards. Um, you could potentially get a Home Run Challenge card. And I think there are potentials for um, Royal Blue inserts. And you could also even hit an Auto or a Relic. Here are the pack odds if you want to pause the video feel free to do that so you can read through all of that but yeah let's get ripping here 2022 series one baseball now i know everyone's going crazy for wander franco but there are a bunch of other really good players really good rookies that you should you know keep an eye out for um one of them is Vidal Brujan. So this is my, what did I say, my third hanger box. And I've opened up five, four or five blasters. And the hilarious thing is that I have not pulled a single Vidal Brujan. It's crazy. I've pulled a bunch of Wanders. I think I've got like three base Wanders or four base Wanders. But I have not pulled any Vidal Brujans. It just blows my mind. Anyways, let's see who we got. We got Jan Gomes, who's now a Cubby. Corey Seager, who is now with the Rangers. Yeah. He's solid. Ian Happ for the Cubs PC. Brian Anderson. Alec Manoa, Future Stars. Travis Shaw. We got Tony... Santalan, rookie card. Uh, Wade Miley, who's injured. Also plays for the Cubs. Uh, Mauricio Dubon. Carlos Rendon. Is that Rendon who got, who's with the Giants now? I think it is, right? Where is Carlos Rendon? Right? I think it's so. Rondon. Yeah, he's with the Giants now. Uh, Tyler Glass now with the Rays. Tyler Miguel. Water Walk Off. Yankees team card. RBI leaders. Salvador Perez. You know, I think Salvador Perez, he is, if he has another really good year, I think he's, he has, if he has another good year where he hits like what, like 48 home runs, 46 home runs. Let me see here. Salvador Perez. Let me look up his stats here. What I'm trying to say is, 
even if he has another really good year, I think he's still going to be very underrated. You know, he he, I I was expecting him to get more. Um, you know, MVP votes. You know, with forty eight home runs, but I mean, he didn't. So we'll see. I think he's underrated. That's all I'm trying to say here. Uh, strikeout leaders for the AL. Uh, ben Gamel for the Pirates. Chapman for the Yankees. Christian Pache, who's now with the o Oakland A's. Curtis Terry. Curtis Terry. Ricky Card. Uh, home run leaders for the AL. Sorry, for the NL. It's crazy that Tatis, even though he was so injured, he still had so many home runs. He led NL. Freddy Peralta. Kurt Suzuki. Oh, here we go. Here's a good rookie to get. Brian De La Cruz. I'll sleep him up in a bit. Lourdes Goriel Jr. Brandon Marsh. So yeah, if you get De La Cruz, then you're going to get Brandon Marsh soon afterwards. That's awesome. I'll sleep him up. Brian Hayes. Future Stars. Jacob Stallings. Ernie Clement. That's also another good card to get. Ernie Clement is currently hitting... In the minors, he hit 464, which is crazy. All right, he's played, I think, played over 20 games, and he's hitting oh, well over 400, close to 500. That's just crazy. Christian Javier, Carson Kelly, and then we've got a rainbow here, and it's a, oh, it's a Roldis Chapman. I thought it was a Yankees team card because they have like a walk off water one, but we got Chapman here, not too bad. I'll take a rainbow. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my, there we go. Wander Franco. My camera here gave me a warning. I think I'm still recording. Yes, I am. Okay, so let, we got a bunch of cards to sleeve up. Yeah, Ernie Clement, keep an eye out for him. I know with Series 1, people are saying it's Wander or Bust, but you never know. You never know. Clement's hitting 464. Hopefully he makes the opening day roster. I think he's deserved it. He's earned it. So we'll see. But we'll see. But we got this Wander, which is freaking beautiful. I haven't pulled this one yet. This is an 87 redo of Wander. Yep, 87. Freaking beautiful. I love it. He also got this Chapman, which I'll sleeve up because rainbow foils are not easy to get. It is getting harder and harder and harder to pull parallels. Yeah, so it's one out of two. So you're not guaranteed. Same thing with the Royal Blues. You're not even guaranteed with those. Royal Blues are more rare than the rainbows. Interesting, right? Okay, we got, uh, let me see here, Garrett Cole, Jazz Chisholm, Stars of the MLB, Freddie Freeman, Alex Bregman. Ooh, nice card here. 2021 Greatest Hits of Fernando Tatis. Very cool. So let's leave up all those. I mean, Tatis is solid. I think Tatis is kind of reckless. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Um, injured his wrist on a motorcycle accident. I know, man. You're young. You want to have fun. You love that adrenaline rush. But you know what, man? You got a career that pays you millions of dollars. So, I don't know. Maybe find something else. Find another hobby that's not so dangerous. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Buster Posey. Craig Kimbrell, who's now with the Dodgers. Hopefully he does well for them. Colin Moran, Husker Yanoa, Matt Chapman, Andre Jackson, rookie card, Till Marte, James McCann, Gavin Sheets, rookie card. He's a good guy to sleeve up as well. Mike Trout, of course, you got to sleeve him up. Cesar Hernandez, Adam Wainwright. It's going to be his last year. Joey Votto, feel bad for him. Justin Dunn, Michael Brantley, 
Danny Jensen, Mookie Betts for the Mookie PC, Bobby Dahlbeck, Omar Narvez, Jake Berger, that's another good card to sleeve up, Mitch Haniger, Ramio Tapia, Tapia got traded too, I forget where he is now, but G-Man Choi, Victor Reyes, Joey Gallo, Brady Singer, Juan Soto for the Soto PC, Pujols, Para and Jorge Alfaro. So let's sleeve up these rookies here. All right? Like I said, people think it's Wander or Bust. But I don't think so. I think there's 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 still some good cards in here. Right? There's still some good rookies. Gavin Sheets, Jake Berger, Brandon Marsh, Ernie Clement, Brian De La Cruz. I think all of those guys are super solid. Rookies to keep an eye out for. All right. So, there it is. Hanger box number three is in the books. I've got a whole bunch more. Let me double check here. I've got, I've got like two, three, four, five, six. We got like four more hanger boxes of uh, 2022 Series 1 baseball. Um, but I only like to, you know, I like to take my time when I open up stuff. And so like a hanger box, like that definitely scratches the itch when I feel like I need to open up something. And so, and I love it too. Cause I mean, hangers are bangers. I mean, dude, we got the wander. We got, we're loaded with a bunch of really good rookies as well. And so I'm super happy with that. We're opening up a simple hanger box. All right, but yeah, so that, you know, I don't really have much to recap. I mean, De La Cruz, Rainbow Chapman, parallels are hard to get. So every parallel that you get, sleeve it up. Uh, Clement, Gavin Sheets, Brandon Marsh, Jake Berger, those are all good rookie cards to um, sleeve up and take care of. And of course, you know, this is it. This is the man. That we're all chasing right now. Wander Franco. Hopefully in Series 2 we'll see. I'm hoping in Series 2. We see maybe. Torkel, um, Spencer Torkelson. Bobby Witt Jr. Julio Rodriguez. They might hold one of those guys out. For um, for update. But yeah man. This is so so much fun. I'm loving these rule changes. And how they're compensating teams. If they if they have a rookie that gets um, that's in the top three for uh, rookie of the year votes, I think that's a great rule. I'm loving it. It's not preventing tanking because the A's they're tanking. Um, season ha hasn't even started yet, but they're tanking. Um, Baltimore's not even trying. I feel like um, I think because I think Adley Rushman he was supposed to be called up or was supposed to be on the opening day roster, but they decided to no he got he got injured. And he got injured. And so he's not going to be up. Uh, Riley Green. Riley Green should be an update. He had an injury too. So he's, I think he, he broke his foot and fouled the ball off his foot. And so he will be probably an update if he gets called up this year, which, which he should. So, but yeah, but yeah, I mean, it's not all Wander. There's a bunch of great rookies in um, Series 1. But I mean, at the same time. It's all about Wander, right? That's all we care about in this set. So, thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I uh, hope this video added some value to your life. And uh, if it did, um, it'd be great if you could like the video, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, and share it with your friends. And so, yeah, that concludes the end of the video. I'm going to have an awkward transition here, but all of you out there, Take care of yourself, and I'll see you all in the next video.